Hey, welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name's Josh, and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2016 MQ Triton GLS. Now, starting at the front, I am going to walk you through the overall condition, some of the actual features of the vehicle. At the front end, you can see the MQs do get that nice chrome front grille there. It's a beautiful looking front end, nice and elegant. You've got nice big headlights with the daytime running lamps just in there as well. Down the bottom, you have also got the fog glass fitted. Now, condition wise, this front end does present really well does look pretty good. If I am being super, super picky, it is speckled with stone chips on the top of the bonnet here. Could probably cover that up with a bonnet protector and on the front bar as well, but nothing really too inconsistent with the age of the vehicle. We have gone through the effort of actually touching them up with the blue touch up paint so that they're not gonna flake off as well. Now the alloy wheels in this vehicle, nice multi-spoke alloy wheel does look incredible. It has got a set of highway tires on here. If you did want to upgrade to a set of all terrains, please speak to us about your options, but great clearance in there as well. Now, the blue paintwork along the side of the vehicle actually looks really good. It does present really well, and as picky as I am, I can't seem to fault this side of the vehicle at all. Have got the chrome side mirrors and door handles with the indicator built into the side mirror there. We've also got the side step down the bottom to help you get in and out. Having a look in the inside quickly, you can see very, very good condition on these seats. So that's actually very well maintained. That looks like a brand new seat. You've got the seat adjusters down here. Carpets are in great condition. Scuff guards, there are a couple of little marks along there, but the door trims where people tend to kick them open are in great condition as well. Now the back windows in the GLS Triton do actually get privacy glass. Now, that is not a window tint, it is just a dyed glass. So please ask us about the premium tint options we have available, how we can match the front to the back and add the UV and heat reduction benefits to all your windows as well. Now, on the back wheel, once again, great condition on that one too. Uh, very well looked after, great condition on those tires. They are a set of bridge tint, so it is a good tire on the back. Tub's in good condition as well. And up on top of the tub, you have actually got the sports bars already fitted as well. Now tailgate once again the spot that does quite often get a lot of damage is actually in really good condition you've even got a tow bar fitted down the bottom now dropping the tub down you do actually get a genuine Mitsubishi Motors tub liner in there with the cutouts for your tie down points as well so very nicely fitted and the tie down points don't take up much space in the tub at all guys so far so this Triton does actually present really well so very very well looked after in the rear bar, there is actually no damage on there at all. This side of the tub, once again, beautiful condition. Um, the fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, so being the, being the safe side, can use a high flow diesel in there as well. That next wheel, again, is in great condition, so very, very well looked after, and obviously very well parked. Now, along this side of the vehicle, uh, let me see how picky I can really be with this. Once again, guys, there's really not much there at all that I can see that needs to be pointed out. A couple of little touch-ups here on the door, but other than that, guys, overall, this is a very well-presented Triton. Even that last and final wheel is completely unmarked. So as you can see, it has actually been looked after very well. Maybe it's been driven on a couple of gravel roads, but overall, very, very well-presented for its age. Now, something I'm gonna have to highly recommend, especially considering it is in that stunning blue, is the glass coat. It would be a shame if you don't take advantage of it because when we can offer you a lifetime warranty on your paintwork, I would see no reason why you wouldn't take that offer up. Now, underneath the bumper, I did miss this just before. There are also a couple of little scrapes there, but once again, nothing too major at all. Being a Mitsubishi dealership, we do still have a range of accessories available for the MQ Tritons. Maybe we could help you fit it out with a bull bar or something as well. But for now, what we're gonna do is actually pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine look under the bonnet what we have is a four cylinder 2.4 liter turbo diesel engine and these Tritons do come with a five speed automatic gearbox now it's always important to know your ANCAP safety rating so it is five stars and it has actually got seven airbags which is great to know especially in a ute power output from the engine is 133 kilowatts with a torque rating of 430 newton meters diesel fuel tank holds 75 liters and It'll give you a combined fuel consumption of about 7.6 litres per 100. Depending on your driving style, obviously, and what you're towing and what you're carrying, it could even give you an average fuel distance of about 987 kilometres from a full tank.
taking a look inside the Triton now on the driver's side door you do get all your power window controls front driver's side is automatic up and down on the right hand side here you've got a couple of blank buttons maybe if I wanted to add an electric brake controller or something you could put the dial there you've got your stability control your headlight adjuster to change the angle of your headlights you've also got the toggle for your power mirrors including a button to let them let you fold them in now on the right hand stalk you do get your indicators fog lights and headlight controls and the left hand stalk you do get all your washer and wiper controls cruise control and speed limiter controls are on the right hand side here and on the left all your media and hands-free functions now having a look in the center display as you can see you do get your AM and FM radio you've also got digital radio and your Bluetooth connectivity for your phone now down the bottom you've got the dual zone climate control so passenger and driver both get the choice of their own temperatures and down here again three empty spaces a USB port and a 12 volt socket with a functional cigarette lighter under here there is a little bit of storage covered up by little flap so if you did want to store some coins or something under there and keep them private you can do so and just going to pop the car into reverse and show you do you actually get a very nice reverse camera in this car so if you did want to um, fit a tow bar to it or attach the tow bar you can actually see the tow bar in that camera now heading back down to the shifter when you put it into drive you can drive it as a standard auto or bump it to the right into sport shift and switch through your gears manually if that's what you prefer back here do you get the super select two four wheel drive system so you can switch through all your high range gears while you're moving um, but you do have to pull over and put it in neutral for the low range two cup holders there a hard handbrake and that center console when you open it up there is a tray up here for your phone or anything else and a 12 volt socket in there as well now quickly panning around the interior you will notice it is actually in great condition so seats have been very well looked after and even the roof lining does present really well in this car so great quality very well looked after inside and out and for these kind of kilometers you wouldn't even imagine it's done that many so guys what we're going to do now is actually jump outside and wrap up the video thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful triton now as i said you will need to ask us about the glass coat because when we will be talking to you about it anyway and it does come with a lifetime warranty for your paintwork now the other thing i'd highly recommend is the premium mechanical protection plan which this car does qualify for considering it has no more new car warranty left that premium mechanical protection plan is your next best option gives you another five years of cover up to 200,000 kilometers on the clock with uh, 10 years of premium roadside assistance unlimited claims three thousand six hundred dollars per claim and uh, 181 items covered it is great value do apologize for the mask it is currently locked down and we have to wear a mask so uh, bear with me but uh, if you are looking for in-house finance options please speak to our business managers Julie or Mario who would love to tailor a package to suit your needs which will work in all those protective options for you into a package which you are comfortable with if you have any questions at all guys the number to dial is 9907055 my name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.